Alrighty, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and write an equation of a hyperbola given some information. In this case, we're going to be given the graph where we know where the vertices are from the center origin and where the distance to the foci is. So as we recall earlier, we know that the distance from the center to the vertice is the amount A. That's our transverse axis. So A is equal to plus and minus 1 in this case. Plus 1 that way, minus 1 that way. Then the second value we can see from this graph is the value of C. C is the distance from the center to the foci. And in this case, you can see it's plus and minus 2. Up 2 for positive, down 2 for negative. So we've got those two values. The next thing we have to determine is which equation are we going to use. Now notice our transverse axis orientation is vertical this time, which means it's parallel to the y-axis. Being parallel to the y-axis, that lets us know that we're going to have the y-squared term first over a-squared minus the x-squared term over b-squared, and that's going to equal 1. There's our general form of the equation there. So, as we know A, we need to know B. So to find B, we're going to go ahead and use that equation. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. It's the way we remember the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, in the equation with a minus in it, we use the equation here with the plus, kind of the opposites again. We know the C value is plus and minus 2, so 2 squared is 4. A squared plus and minus 1 squared would be 1 equals B squared. So B squared equals 3, and that tells us that B equals plus and minus the square root of 3. Or, really more likely, we're going to use the B squared equals 3 part when we put it in right there. So now we have the A and the B part of our equation. We can go ahead and write it out. Y squared over A squared, which is going to be 4 minus X squared over B squared, which is 3, always equals 1. So there is our equation for the hyperbola that we were given in the graph. Now our next example, they're just going to tell us the endpoints of the let's see endpoints of the transverse axis. Transverse. And those are going to be at plus and minus three comma zero. And then they're going to tell us the asymptotes. And the asymptotes in this case are y equals, they're only going to tell us 1, so scratch that guy there, right? We'll get rid of the s. And y equals 2x. So what have they told us? They've told us right now that if we draw this, which we should do as usual, that we know where the endpoints are for the vertices. In other words, what we know right now is that at negative 3 comma 0 and positive 3 comma 0, that's where we have the endpoints of the vertices. So the endpoints of the transverse axis provides us where the vertices are. The asymptotes are going to tell us where the B value is. Here's what I mean by that. So the asymptotes here, we can see is a y equals 2x, let's go ahead and say plus 0, because we can realize the y-intercept is 0, with the slope of 2 over 1, 2 over 1. So we get a line that looks like this. And that's going to mean that since we can see the center of our graph has to be right there, you know, the midpoint between the, trans between the two transverse axes. So that means that we also have to have the opposite slope, which is going to give us that. Now, 
in terms of our graph, let's see if we can do this so it looks a little nice. Let's make it red. Our graph's going to end up going way out like this. It's going to be very steep because it's going to get parallel nearly to those lines, right? So it's a pretty big, wide graph that we have here. So what have we figured out so far? Well, we always know that the distance from the center to the vertice is the A amount. So A equals 3, plus or minus 3 if we consider the other side as well. We also realize the transverse axis is parallel to the x-axis. So that tells us we're going to have x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared. And that's going to always equal 1. So that tells us the equation we're going to use. So the next thing we need to figure out, <clears throat> this b value right there, we need to figure out what b squared is. And the way we can figure that out is realize that if this is A, continue on up to where this slope would continue on, which I believe is going to go to right there and on through. And what we can recognize is that if this is A, that's got to be B. So B equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's that box method that we had talked about in making our graph here. So this has got to go down also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to go to right there. And bingo, that's the box method. Notice it goes right through that corner right there. Continue slope is going to go right through there. <clears throat> so we've now identified the B value. I know that might be hard to read. I'll go ahead and write over top of it B equals 6, A equals 3, our center is the origin, so we can write our equation now. We can say x squared, because we know it's parallel to the x-axis, our transverse axis is, over A squared, A is 3, so 3 squared is 9, minus Y squared, over B squared, B we determined is 6, so we get 36, always equals what? That's correct, always equals 1. So there's our equation there. Now, if we wanted to figure out where the foci are, we have to find the C value. So to find the C value, <clears throat> again, just like this equation over here, C squared equals A squared plus B squared, we could do that. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C squared equals A squared is 9 plus B squared is 36. 9 plus 36 is 45. And so C equals plus or minus the square root of 45. Now the square root of 45 approximately, let's see, we know that 7 times 7 is 49, 6 times 6 is 36, 45 is closer to 49. So I'm going to say approximately... 6.8. If we do the square root of 45 in our calculator, we get 6.7. So that's a better estimate than my guesstimate. So approximately plus or minus 6.7, which means we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.7, right about there as a foci. Focus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.7. There's the other focus, and now you know where the two foci are at. I hope that helps. Next thing we're going to do is talk about uh, translating the hyperbola and getting an equation that's in standard form using completing the square. Right on. Three videos, we're done. Bye-bye.